Hello and welcome to the Fibonacci free video for Friday, September 22nd. And uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, triggering trades from Fib levels or really any levels. So um, I was working today against this micro voodoo line level, which of course incorporates both uh, elements of Fibonacci and Elliott Wave into producing levels. Um, but the, the tools I use really work either way. In this case, I was using Ready Aim Fire, which is designed specifically as a trigger indicator, right? And, um, and in order to use it as such, right, if I was looking at a, you know, a 30 day move up, you know, on a daily chart and looking for a, a trigger for its turn, I probably wouldn't be using a one minute ready aim fire uh, to look for a turn from, from FIB levels on my daily chart. But in this case, um, I just had a, a move up that, you know, was coming up from, um, from lower levels intraday. And usually I want about 50 bars for a, um, for a swing to use ready aim fire. So can it sometimes be 60, sometimes 30? Um, yeah, it, I just try and get as close as, to 50 as I can with whatever time frames are available and look for ready aim fire signals. Now, um, what I wanna do is get a complete signal from my level. So in this case, my level was that micro, um, uh, micro skyline here. And what I want to see for a cell is first a red, dark red ready, right? And it shades the region in here and in toss, it actually prints uh, the word and then bright red aim. And then I want a, um, a cell arrow from oversold like the one we had here, right? As price was coming down from that measured level. And so for me, that was a perfect signal. Now, we also had dark red ready followed by bright red aim and an arrow from above overbought right here, but price wasn't at my level. And, um, and my setup for which I was triggering was, uh, was to find a turn down from my level. There were a few other elements as well. Um, the 23.6% retrace of the move down from Monday's high to, um, to yesterday's low in the cash S and P was at a similar spot, but I was doing this in the ES futures. Now, the other thing that I find to be a useful tool is, um, is John Carter's quant pivot. So, um, I've got quant pivot resistance that you can see is right below this, um, uh, this micro skyline level. And here's why that's important, right? The quant pivots are designed to find um, levels beyond which a move is overcooked and, and unlikely to remain there. So if I have um, a level and it could be a, a fib level, it could be um, a classic voodoo line, could be a micro voodoo line, whatever it is, right? I've, if I've got some measured level that's a little bit beyond a quant pivot, that gives me a reason to also think that the market is likely exhausted on the other side. And I'm going to actually prefer levels that are a little bit beyond a quant pivot. So, um, so that gave me uh, added confidence to look for a turn down from that level along with the aim signal. And, um, and we continued solidly down, uh, from there. Now, the other thing, uh, and I'll, I'll show you where I got out. Now this is less fib and more Elliott wave, right? But you can see we had a nice one, two, three, four, five. Um, and the, the other thing that I, um, that I found, uh, or the, the thing that I actually invented ready aim fire to work with was sort of timing the end of Elliott wave moves. And so when we got a five wave move down still here on the one minute, um, chart with ready aim fire, right? You could see we got uh, dark green ready, bright green aim. And then after we got this move that was suitable for a fifth wave, getting a uh, buy signal from um, from below the 
uh, oversold level. So nice little trade down, took uh, a little over 20 points here in the ES futures before things popped right back up. And it was a nice little intraday trade. Those are the tools that I use. I find them particularly useful with any levels, fib levels, voodoo lines, micro voodoo lines, uh, and uh, hopefully you'll find them useful as well. I will see you at the next update. Hey, David here with Simpler Trading. Thanks for taking a few minutes to watch this video. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please help us out. Click the like button. You can also add your comments below. We love to read those and respond to them. You can also click the bell icon. That will alert you whenever we have new and updated videos. And if you want to watch us trade in real time with our own money, you can visit simplertrading.com to learn how to sign up. Until I see you again, as always, good trading, and we'll see you at the next video.